All right, so I was just browsing around YouTube, kind of poking around my feed, and I saw a thumbnail, not a video, not a video. I will watch the video after. I saw a thumbnail that really kind of sparked my interest, uh, a topic that I didn't need to watch the video to understand. I get it just from seeing the thumbnail. Um, and that was on the Game Chasers channel, uh, a thumbnail with a barren wasteland behind Billy, and it says, yikes, okay, now what? Game Chasers. And I purposely didn't want to watch it yet because I didn't want to watch it and then kind of like regurgitate. Sometimes you like unwillingly know that you're regurgitating what you just heard. So I kind of wanted to speak on it uh, before I watched it. Um, they're a game hunting channel. We're a game hunting channel. Um, so where I kind of wanted to go with this is almost like what's going to happen going forward with our channel. Um, ever since COVID and everything got more serious, you know, as time went on, we haven't been able to do uh, really any game hunting videos that are our style, our taste. Um, yes, we got to do one, which was awesome, which was a huge blessing. Uh, good friends of ours from Game Tower decided to open up their store so we could shoot a video there. It was a great video. We got the, the Switch kiosk back, th back there that we got in the episode, so we're, we're thankful. Um, but our bread and butter, not only what you, the audience, and not only what you guys enjoy watching, which we can tell from the views and analytics that you guys enjoy watching and we enjoy doing most ourselves, is the swap meet hunting, the the thrill of the hunt, the luck of the draw, not knowing if you're going to find games. That's, I think, where the big excitement comes for us, and it seems like it is for you all as well. And uh, we haven't been able to do that in a really long time, and we're not going to be able to for a really long time. Um, also, we are in California. Things are a lot more liberal here. Uh, there's a lot more restrictions, a lot more rules, whatever you think politically. We're not going to get into that, but there's a lot more uh, government control, I will say. So they have uh, their hands on a lot more things, a lot less uh, freedom <laughs> is just, just what I'll say, and I'll, I'll leave it at that. Uh, and that's not me, you know, making any judgment or anything on any of that. That's just me saying that's what it is here. That's what it is here in Southern California. So we don't know when things are going to open up. Again, and we miss it. We miss it a lot. Uh, obviously, there's a lot worse things going on in the world, COVID and other things that are a lot worse than our uh, first world problems of not being able to hit uh, swap meets. But it has changed the tone of our channel for a while, and that is kind of something I wanted to talk about a little bit. Um, yeah, first, the biggest thing is, yeah, there won't be NES Pursuits for a while or expansion packs uh, because things aren't open. There is no option for that. And when things do open, I don't know. I don't know how people are going to be. You know, I travel to different areas of California, Orange County for work a bit. And every area is different. Some people take it as serious because they need to. Some places there's the, they're doing really well with COVID and they don't take it as serious. I don't know. I'm just saying that all swap meets are going to be different. I don't know when we actually get out to swap meets or flea markets if people are going to be wanting to go out. I don't know if people are going to want to be out there. And I'm not talking about us because I'm just being honest. I'm going to go out day one when they let me. I'm just, just speaking my truth to everybody. So I'm being honest. Uh, as soon as they lift restrictions, I'd go right now if they said you can go to a swap meet. But I'm talking about vendors and sellers, resellers, all that. I don't know. If there's going to be much out there, it's like I almost want to do like a test run before we go out there and film, you know, uh, when things do open back up, because who knows, there might not be much left there or it could be the opposite. I don't know. We just don't know. So I just want to say that, you know, we apologize in advance for not being able to do this. And we understand that it's actually taking a toll on our channel, but I, I don't want to say that in a negative way. I almost, almost, <laughs> it's like a weird conversation to have with all of you. It's kind of bittersweet. And right now it's almost more sweet than bitter. And I mean that because we have forced, or I, I I'll be honest, have kind of had to force myself to do different content, but not because I have to do it. Not because I need to do it. I, I want to say that I am very, very blessed in this world. I will be the first to admit I'm extremely blessed with a wonderful job, an amazing job. Um, you know, and if you want to do the whole essential thing, it's one of the most essential jobs uh, there is. Basically, we, we keep the power on, uh, you know, for hospitals and everything. So I'm very blessed, very, very blessed on all levels. I'll never complain about that. But um, sorry, I had to check something. I thought I stopped recording my audio. But I, what I wanted to say is that with me 
doing these other style of videos that aren't necessarily game hunting at all in any way, shape or form, you know, some pickups, some squad cast, things like that. But I'm finding myself having fun with YouTube again. Yes, don't get me wrong. NES Pursuits, game hunting, expansion packs, that's always been fun to me. That is my life. Even without YouTube, I'll always be game hunting with my dad, with my family, going to antique places. That's just what I do anyway. Uh, but I'm talking as, but I'm talking about as far as like enjoying YouTube. And what I mean by that is it's bittersweet because yes, less people are watching because this isn't why everybody's here is for these type of videos, which I understand. But let's say like these top five videos that I've been doing, um, I have more of them. I've only put out like two, but I, I genuinely enjoy doing them in a way that makes me feel and it reminds me of the way I used to do videos, not even at the beginning of this channel, but the, at the beginning of our old channel. like. Doing them purely because I sit here and I'm, I'm working and when I have breaks and free time and, you know, I, I hung out with my kids. I don't like to take away time uh, from my family for YouTube. But, you know, when, when time properly allows to be like, man, I just want to do this because I want to do this. You know, I want to do this because I want to express myself creatively. And the blessing in less people watching, it almost feels like those early, early days of YouTube where, like, your community was so much smaller that... Every comment you can read, every comment you can like embrace and take in. It almost is like with this new content as well, I feel like there's some different people watching as well. And it's like, oh, I've never heard from you. And it's really nice to kind of hear your take on this. And even the people that aren't new and the people that have been around, it's cool to see them enjoying a different style of content. And even like with the top fives, I kind of like geared them to be like old screw attack top five videos because I love that. And I really just miss the days of like early YouTube feel. I've kind of talked about that a lot lately and I just feel like the way I'm I'm personally doing YouTube during this, like the squad casts with less editing, the top fives with editing, but not like crazy amount. Um, it just, I don't know, it just does a different feel to it, but it's also probably because like I said, less people are watching and it feels like this little, much more small community. And I know the word little is relevant. Please don't take that in any way you know, the, the lower views for us is like 3000, 4,000 views. And I know that's a lot for some people or, or that's none for some people, you know, bigger channels like that's garbage. So that's relevant to whatever, you know, it's relevant to your channel, but for us, you know, that's on the lower end, but, but again, it feels so good because we get a kind of like feel that small sense of community. And I know other channels have felt that too. You know, even PewDiePie, I admit I watched PewDiePie here and there. Uh, he had a video talking about his 10 years and he was like, I, I, he genuinely speaking in his words, I genuinely miss when we had like a small community and you like can talk to the people and know the people. So that's the, the, the sweet part about it. But obviously the bitter part is too, we do love when people come in to watch the NES Pursuits and a bunch of people are watching because they're hyped on the show and hyped on the channel and we'll be able to get there again for sure. So if you're watching this and you were wondering what happened to the NES Pursuit, obviously you knew why, but I uh, we're ho we hope you're here uh, when we come back because we will be back with them when time allows, when the world allows, whatever you believe with the government, with COVID, anything. When we are allowed is when we're allowed um, to do it because they're not open or people might not even show up. Um, you know, if all things go well, all the vendors will show up, but nobody will come to buy. And then it's just me and Ricky <laughs> running amok at the swap meets and the rest of the squad, Mikey, Gabble, and Complex and Mort, uh, and occasionally Jer. But yeah, you know, I just wanted to say that it's been really bittersweet for us. And I just kind of wanted to update you guys on that, that we... We miss it, game hunting itself to its core. We very, 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 very much miss it and we'll get back to it. But it's also a little bit of a nice little breather, a time for us, a time for me, because I know the other guys aren't necessarily running the channel, but for me to just kind of get out some creativity that I've wanted to get out uh, as far as like top fives. I love, I've, I've talked about it too much as old school YouTube uh, to my friends and to other creators that I know. And I'm like, man, I miss it. So I almost feel like that, that's the blessing that I'm trying to find in it is like knowing like, okay, I can use this time because I know less people are watching uh, that are just here for the pursuits, which is totally cool for me to let out that old school YouTube feel uh, that I was looking for. 
And uh, I'm excited, you know, for the comeback. I think it's going to feel uh, really refreshing for us. I think the, there's going to be more energy in the videos. I think there's going to be uh, more fun, more character, because I feel like we're already really giddy and goofy when it comes to filming the NES Pursuit. Uh, but I think it's going to make a, it even amped times five because we've text, we text each other every single day, just so you guys know. And I'm not joking. Every single day we have a group chat and we talk all day, every day. And we are, we get, when we, you know, see newsletters or something, newsletters, what is this? The forties, you know, uh, something in media, you know, the guys will send something like we heard this might open or this might open. And we're like, yeah, it's going to open. This is going to happen. Yeah. Like just getting so hyped, like knowing that we're going to get there and, uh, we're going to be back at it. So, uh, for you guys that are new, uh, we hope you're enjoying what's here, what's happening now. We do a game hunting show and, uh, I think you'll like it. And for you guys that have been here for a long time, it'll be back. That's it. I don't want to ramble on. I know it kind of went in circles, but just kind of an update on how it's feeling for us and as creators on the show and members in the channel, how we all feel. Um, we have hung out. I know we've got some backlash for that from some people saying, hey, you shouldn't have hung out. You should have hung out. Some people are like, how dare you? And some people are like, good for you not to live in fear. Wherever you stand on that, um, that's okay. Stand where you stand, and that's okay to stand where you stand. Uh, I respect. I've always told uh, the guys in the group. You know, we're a group of like six, five different guys. We all have different opinions and beliefs, and that's okay. We respect one another's uh, decisions and what they want to do, or how they want to do it, or how they want to meet, or if they don't want to meet. It's all respected in our community. We respect whatever you guys say too. Uh, whatever your thoughts are, your feelings are, uh, we we re respect them. And if we were to hang out with you and you wanted us to do one thing or the other, we would respect you and do that. It's just how we are. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are uh, staying safe out there, staying healthy. Please stay healthy. Uh, please, please, please. I know this is so stupid to say, and this has nothing to do with anything uh, related to our channel. Please, 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 please take care of yourselves. And I'm not talking just masks and social distancing and washing your hands. I'm not just talking about that. I am saying, please exercise eat good, eat right. Because when this is all over and this is said and done and your, your health, your, your body is going to need to be strong and healthy. Regardless, if COVID never existed, you got, we got to keep you guys healthy. We want you guys around forever. We love all you guys. We love the small community. Now we love when the community was bigger, all the jazz, everything. Uh, we want you all around, uh, to, to celebrate, uh, the NES pursuit with us when it comes back out, if you even care. All right, you guys, I'll stop rambling. I, I go all over the place. Have a good one. Sorry for the no edits. That's just, that's just how it is today. See you guys.